have a golf tournament. When's the last time you played in a golf tournament? Other than the YouTube one, of course. Like, year and a half. Four like, years. Four, year, four years? Four years. No. It's been way too long, dude. Are you serious? Yes. So today Lincoln's playing in a golf tournament. I'm gonna be on the sidelines. I can't, like, talk to him about golf stuff. Goals today. Um, don't take last. <laughs> That's a good goal. That's about it. That's about it. <laughs> Just so you know, there's no expectations that he's here to like win. If you want it, that'd be great. He hasn't played for four years in competitive golf. He's ready to go out and play, and it's good to play in tournament golf. Get ready for golf day. Uh, let's go. First tee. What's happening? Playing out of the St. George, Utah. Lincoln, Mark. provisional which is like a second ball it went to the same house and then we walked up and we found his first one it was good so then he hits a second shot it doesn't hit it the way he wants it it hits the cart path it somehow ends up right in the middle of the fairway so now his third shot is onto the green so two lucky breaks and hopefully that builds some confidence Hole number two is a par three that is really long. He always goes right for some reason on this hole, so check this out, he's got a tough shot. goal today again is 87 which means he needs to get bogey on every single hole and then maybe one par so he's a little over that right now but um, considering where his tee shots have been I'd say his score is pretty good for that. accidentally popped up his drive, so it's way short of the fairway, but second shot crushed it. Lincoln got a nine on a par four. <laughs> so I feel bad for him, like that is a tough hole, but also when you're playing tournament golf, it's a lot different than playing just regular golf when you're out and about. One of the problems you have when you're not playing tournament golf is that people do gimme putts, where it's like, oh, you're close enough, you, I, I'll give it to you. And so you don't hit those really, really short putts. And when you have a hole that's kind of on a hill, if you just barely miss one of those putts, you put yourself in a really tough spot. So um, he shot a nine, it is what it is. He's doing great, he's smiling. I remember back in third grade when he used to play tournament golf and if he had a hole like that, there'd be tears coming down his face. I don't see any tears, he just got up on the next hole and hit it right on the green from about 195 away, par three. That's golf for you. It's not an easy sport, but it's fun and uh, you're doing a good job, buddy.
up a nine. <laughs> you par a par three, a 200 yard par three. Oh, that was a good comeback putt. Good job, Lincoln. Hey, look who just hit it on a fairway. Had a kid. This is a very long par five. See where those dudes are? This is how far Lincoln needs to hit it. All the way up to there. Stop, buddy. Lincoln got on in three. Wait, is that three? Yeah, that's three. Might be able to get a par. I really don't know golf rules, so I'm not gonna ask you anything about golf. But I'm gonna say, how's your drink break going? <laughs> Don't ask any questions. Do you like the weather? Oh no, the weather. We can't talk about the weather. I really don't know. I like we can talk Gatorade. You get better at making those little putts. I think he's at a 42 on the front with one hole to play. Okay, this is my favorite hole on the whole golf course. There's a house in front of you on the left. So many people have missed that it looks like a war zone in this stinking house. You gotta see this, it's insane. This is it. They have a net, but it doesn't do a very good job at blocking the house. Look at all those. They're everywhere. Even over here. Look at that. Look at that wall. It's destroyed with golf balls. Lincoln shot, I think, a 48 on the back nine. Um, had some pars. There's a par three that my brother and I, Brandon, we almost got a hole in one. He hit the flag. Mine rolled about two feet away from it. His was three feet away, but it hit the pin and should have dropped. There's a ton of water and they put the pin in a place that's like, makes you want to hit it in the water. So we'll see how Lincoln does here. All right, here's the little man. Uh, oh, come on, go, go, go ball, go. Go, 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 short. He hit it short. I think it went in the water. There he is walking with his driver so that he can do two club lengths from the water or from the sign or whatever it is. Looking for his ball over there. Hey, nice shot Lincoln. Wow, that was like a 25 footer. I got it on camera too from all the way over here. Good job, Lincoln. As a parent, you might get more stress than your sons in these tournaments. And I'm doing a good job, I think, of keeping my emotions in check, but it's hard. I mean, they're just kids. They're just out here having fun. Even if the winner wins and the loser loses all the way, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This tournament doesn't matter. But what matters is the way that you compete, the way that you treat people. Golf teaches you a lot of things that you may not learn in other aspects.
there's an ice cream truck over there and it totally distracted Lincoln and he got a bogey because of it. The ice cream truck goes and he's just smiling and laughing. currently on the last hole. The boys are doing great and they've lost a little bit of focus because we're pushing seven hours out here. <laughs> like, who golfs for seven hours? What 13 year old can go out and keep a mental focus for seven hours? But I gotta give it to them, they're doing a great job. This is the last hole, close to the green. It'd be nice to end it with a par, but even a bogey, that'll work. After the round, we might stick around to see if Boston was able to win this thing, go get some ice cream because you gotta get ice cream after you sit on the golf course for seven hours. Good job, buddy. Culver's is coming. Culver's is coming. I three or four putted so many times. So many holes. So many times. So let's go do your scorecard, go sign it and do all that stuff, and then let's see Boston come in, and then let's go get some ice cream. <laughs> okay, second place, Parker Bunn. <laughs> Don't take last. That's about it. My parents right, could so always support me, and especially my grandparents, and also everyone else here. Thanks. I'd like to also thank um, the UJGA for hosting this wonderful tournament at Southgate Golf Club. And I'd also like to thank my competitors for putting a good challenge out there. Nice job, Austin. Awesome.